Secretary Roque, you deny to be a lawyer of Lucky South 99. I'm just wondering who are you trying to fool? We are not actually born yesterday, Secretary. Sa tingin mo po ba kaya mong paikutin ang mga tao sa hearing na ito kasama ang sambayan ng Pilipino? Of course, deny as much as you want. But the overwhelming pieces of evidence point to one thing. An only reasonable person, any reasonable person, will come to an unmistakable conclusion. You are part, or perhaps a lawyer, of Pogo South 99. Mr. Chair, I resent that. I am not fooling anyone. I resent that also coming from someone who was my former law student and who uh, was my inaanak. That's not the way to treat a resource person of this house. At least when I was a member of this house, we never treated resource persons in that way. I resent that for the record, Mr. Chairman. May I ask the Honorable Member Kong Salo to refrain uh, in issuing statements that would uh, uh, insult our resource persons. Uh, I am not saying you are, but uh, try to avoid uh, issuing statements that would uh, um, hurt uh, the feelings of uh, our resource persons. Uh, please proceed. Will do, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, in our last hearing on August 16, Friday in Pampanga, Secretary Roque was invited by the squad committee. And Attorney Harry Roque sent a letter dated August 13, 2024, addressed to the Honorable Chairman Robert Ace Barbers. Yours true? Are you the lead chairman? Informing Chair Barbers that he will not be able to participate in the said meeting due to conflict with the previously scheduled court hearing before the Regional Trial Court of Manila on 16 August 2024 the same date of our quad committee hearing. I have here a copy of that particular letter. Mr. Chair, we have also in receipt here a copy of certification from Attorney Jennifer H. De La Cruz, Buendia, Clerk of Court and Ex Officio Sheriff of Manila, RTC Manila, stating that Attorney Harry Roque has no hearing on August 16 and did not appear in the courts of Manila on said date. Mr. Chair, I hate to say it, but clearly, Attorney Harry Rocker, former secretary and my former professor, law professor, lied to this committee. And that amounts actually to disrespect on the members of the committee, which is contemptible under Section 11E of the Rules of the House of Representatives on inquiries in aid of legislation. I therefore move, Mr. Chair, that Attorney Harry Rocker be cited for contempt for disrespecting the members of this committee when he, lied to evade, uh, to, when he lied in order to evade attending the hearing of this committee where he was invited. So move, Mr. Chair. I did not quite hear what you said, uh, Congressman Salo. Can you please repeat, are you moving for the, uh, for the committee to cite Mr. Attorney Harry Roque in contempt? Yes, Mr. Chair. Pursuant to Section 11E of the Rules of the House of Representatives in Aid of Legislation. Mr. So, Chair? Mr. Chair. Um, one minute suspension. Uh, the reason for the, con or the contemptible act. Uh, committed by our resource person is in paragraph E, which uh, reads, acting in a disrespectful manner towards any member of the committee or any misbehavior in the presence of the committee. So, may I solicit uh, comments from our members before we rule on this motion? In the spirit of fairness, uh, because uh, the committee has been uh, citing uh, uh, our resource persons who have violated this rule in contempt and detaining them before uh, detaining them in the premises of the House of Res Representatives. Would there be any comment from our members, Mr. Chair? Before we vote, Chairman for the, Abante, before we vote of the contempt, we would like to hear first. 
the explanation of uh, uh, the, the reason behind uh, his absence uh, to this committee last year. Thank you, Your Honor. I was hoping to be given an opportunity to be heard. It was an honest mistake, Your Honor. I have also been a member of this uh, chamber. We don't hold hearings on Fridays. So when I saw the notice of hearing, I assumed that just like the first and the second hearing where I attended, that it would be on a Thursday. And that is true, that I had a hearing both in the morning and in the afternoon. And that is why I sent that letter. By the time I realized that it was a Friday and there was in fact a hearing, it was also close already to lunchtime and the hearing was in Pampanga. So I apologize for the honest mistake, but the truth of the matter is I have been here on Thursdays to two hearings already and I just assumed that just like in the past where we don't hold hearings on a Friday, that the hearing would be on a Thursday as in fact today is also a Thursday. So it was an, an instance of, okay, there's a hearing, it's on Thursday again, and I have a hearing on Thursday, that's why I sent the letter right away, not even realizing that 16 is a Friday. That was an honest mistake. Had I had any intentions not to appear, I would not have appeared today as well. But in the first two instances, and those were the two instances where I was invited, I in fact appeared. I have no wish to disrespect the very same body of which I was a part of, which I consider at some point in time as my happy place, in fact, the House of Representatives. Thank you, Your Honors. Any other member who wish to make a comment? Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, can we have Congressman a copy? Congressman Fernandez. Can we have a copy of that certification that was uh, issued by the uh, Regional Trial Court? Because uh, I haven't seen the copy yet. And that's the reason why medyo kanina I was... Uh, a bit shock about it. So, here. So, while uh, Congressman Fernandez is still reading the certification, Mr. Congressman Chair, Mr. Abante. Chair, uh, I'd like to ask uh, Secretary Roque, what is the reason for your apology? Well, uh, it was really an honest mistake, uh, Your Honor. So you're Honor. apologizing not for your absence, but for an honest mistake? It was an honest mistake, uh, Your Honor, because I've been here every Thursday. And as a former member of this uh, chamber, as a former employee of this chamber, I know that in the regular course of business, we don't really have hearings on Fridays. In fact, even if you call the trunk line of the House of Representatives on a Friday, no one will answer. Um, that has always been the uh, policy, no? Um, so when I saw the notice of hearing, I really thought it was also on a Thursday, like the first two hearings where I attended. That is why I apologize for the honest mistake. Mr. Chair, uh, in, consider in consideration of the fact that the resource person, former Secretary Harry Roque, is my former law professor, fellow Kabayan Party List Representative and a former member of this House of Representatives. And in consideration also of his claim for honest mistake and, of course, the apologies that he has given to this committee. And finally, in consideration of personal relations, as he has mentioned a while ago that he was my Ninong, respectfully move, Mr. Chair, that the, max, the penalty be given be shortened to the barest minimum, whether it's just one day or 24 hours, Mr. Chair. Second motion, Mr. Chair. There is a motion, motion duly Mr. seconded, Chair. to impose a penalty of 24 hours to the to our resource person, Attorney Harry Roque. Hearing no objection, the motion is carried. One, one minute Chair. suspension. <laughs>